All right, I'll go check it out. You stay here. Don't do anything crazy. You're me? NCIS Hawaii season three. Vanessa, Tennant's been through it at the end of last season. <laughs> how much time has passed and how is she holding up? Some time has passed and I'm trying to get back into the groove and I need this guy to help me out. You got people looking out for you, Jane Tennant. To give me some inspiration, yeah. some motivation. A little inspo, a little, a little inspo. Sam Hanna comes through with the inspo. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Gives a thorough evaluation and we go from there. Well, Todd, talk about the unique perspective that Sam is able to bring to those conversations with Jane. Sam has been through so much. He's a veteran in the game. You know, he's seen a lot. He's done a lot. He's used to kind of dealing with the quote unquote PTSD of it all. What, you know, Tenet deals with obviously is very real and life changing for her. <laughs> and so he is a sounding board that she could trust somebody with the credibility, she knows that he's been where she's at. And so there's that connection, in, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it works, it makes sense. Yeah, I think too, like what I've always said about NCIS Hawaii being the, the newest of the franchise, we are trying to evolve it and, and focus a lot more on how the personal life really elevates your work life. And my character specifically is able to take everything that he's had go on in his personal life as Sam Hanna and how he's parlay that into his work environment. How he's used that either as fuel or as inspiration or as revenge and vengeance. Whatever he's done, I kind of look at him and I'm like, all right, you've gone through this and you're still here and you're still doing what you do and you're still keeping your team together. It's nice to see that he's walked this path and I'm fresh into it. So I do like that they tap a lot into his personal past and how it's dealing with my personal present and how we can move on as NCIS. Yeah. Broken bones, broken spirit. Trauma shows up in lots of ways. <laughs> your team could use your help. Vanessa, were you glad, for lack of a better word, to see the chain's a little bit broken, as Sam puts it, that she's not Superman? Oh, I am Superwoman. <laughs> not broken, just a little dented. <laughs> a little dented. Um, no, it's, it's back to that, you know, it's, this is real. I do still want to kick ass and take names, but yeah, I'm human. Jane Tennant is human. And it's how you elevate yourself from that tragedy, how you move on from that adversity. And um, I think that's what separates Jane Tennant and why she's the first female sat at Pearls, because she's able to compartmentalize it, her country, her love of country, her love of family, and her personal pain. And um, again, because I am human, it is nice to have a shoulder to lean on, a nice, very well manicured, <laughs> worked out shoulder yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's nice like you'll see me in jeans for the first time and like a button up just like man i need a minute to kind of just decompress in addition to being the angel on her shoulder in these early episodes are we gonna see sam get some action sam always gets some action that goes with the territory you know what i'm saying so I mean, not to use sam Hanna when he's all the way in hawaii so i'm <laughs> like listen if you're gonna be around yeah, sam, you might as well use. <laughs> sam is definitely gonna come through it's a lot of action there's a lot of, it's dynamic, uh, it's fun. You know, there's car chases, there's thrills, spells, chills. It's everything that you could think of in terms of entertainment. And that's what we want to do, right? Like at the end of the day, this is about entertaining the world. I want people to have fun when they watch the show. I just want people to have fun. Think about family. It's our job to keep them safe. Vanessa, during Jane's downtime, how is Jesse faring as Boss Jr.? I can't talk about Jesse behind his back. He'd have to be here to defend himself. But I picked him for a reason. So he is my, he's a, he's a good stand-in sack, but um, but I need to come back to work, which is why I need a good kick in the pants from St. Hannah. Todd, I need to know, are we gonna get any updates, even if they're a little bit oblique to other Los Angeles NCIS team members? Like what's up with Callan? Did they find Hetty? Anything is possible, right? I think it's just one step at a time. Um, we'll see. You know, people just got to watch the show to find out. That's the only way really for you to know. But there are some cool things coming and uh, I think people will be pleasantly surprised. You know what I'm saying? I do love too though how the franchise takes into consideration the fans. And you know, we are like a living, breathing organism in the sense that we started with the first crossover and then people were loving it and we wanted this triple crossover and people were loving it and now Sam is here. So we do listen to what the audience wants, what they gravitate towards and we do try to include that into our evolution. And so you never know. I mean, he's right. We're still sometimes like, whoa, wait, who's coming? What's happening? Yeah. And it's fun and we spit all ideas all the time Absolutely. so anything can happen maybe the heady thing is just like a standalone chris mccory movie like mission heady your mouth to god's ears let's make it <laughs> maybe you do the movie right? <laughs> maybe it's you and heady i can't <laughs>
can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You got the Henley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe it's you and Eddie. What do you say, gentlemen? You ready for your next adventure? Vanessa, I have a reader question here for you. Any solid romantic prospects for Tenant this season after season two slim pickings of one, a Navy captain who never calls, two, the charming guy who ends up with a bullet in his head, and three, and I guess I missed this episode, The Disturbing Dentist. <laughs> Apparently, I don't have a good track record. You know what, maybe Sam Anna can help me out with that too. I'm gonna have to send you out on the yeah. field. I'm the matchmaker. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the resident matchmaker yeah. and all that. Yeah. That, that's the thing though with the fans, it's so crazy. Um, and I actually saw this question, which is so funny that you're reading it now because I was like, that's true. I've got a bad track record, um, but- but What's so much focus? I'm focused. But even, even with Sam's character, they're like, is he on as like, is he like a teammate? Is he a partner? Is he like a, a brother to you? Is he like a father to you? Is he like a lover to you? And I'm like, damn, you guys are ruthless. So then I say, you'll just have to wait and see. We're the dynamic duo with Thelma and Louise. Guys, maybe we get back to solving crime now? Vanessa, as an ambassador for the show, I need to ask you, what can you offer to the Casey fans out there? How about this? I can give... Ooh, I know, I can give one tease word and leave you with that. Newlywood. I like it, I like that it. That teaser, and it might not be what you think. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Bring in Monday <laughs> on CBS. Smash cut two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go, one last random tease about the new season of NCS Hawaii. All bets are off when it comes to what people are used to. There's just some things that happened that people would never see coming. We are slamming a lot for you fans into these 10 episodes. We are bringing it big. There's no long drawn out. It is every episode, there's something happening, there's something going on. So I think that you'll be very happy with the end result. 